Time Machine is a revolutionary way to back up and restore your entire Mac. It backs up everything on your computer and stores it on an external disk so you never have to worry about losing your most important files. And it constantly keeps your backup up to date. All you have to do to set up Time Machine is plug in an external drive using USB or FireWire ports. These drives have become very affordable offering huge storage capacity. And you can find a large variety of external drives at Apple retail stores, the Apple online store, or just about any other computer store. As soon as I plug it into my iMac, Time Machine detects that a new drive has been connected and asks me if I'd like to use this as my Time Machine backup. I confirm, and Time Machine starts to make the initial backup of everything on my Mac. After this first backup completes, Time Machine will check every hour and backup anything that has changed. It's all very simple and automatic. Now, what if you need to recover something? You might have accidentally deleted a folder, an iPhoto album, or even an important email message. Thankfully, Time Machine was designed to make it simple to go back in time and either browse for the things you want to restore or find them with Spotlight. I have a folder here that should contain several documents that I've been recently working on. There was a presentation that I created with Keynote along with all the supporting materials. I'm not sure what I did, but the files are gone. Let's activate Time Machine and go back to find them. Here in the dock, there's a new icon for Time Machine. When I press it, my desktop is transformed. The open folder is now shown cascading back in time. And there's a timeline on the right side of the screen because Time Machine remembers exactly how your Mac looked on any given day. Also note the arrows. These are important because they let me navigate back and forth through the changes that have been made to this folder over time. When I press the back arrow, Time Machine will fly me back in time to the most recent change to this folder. There. It's taken me back a couple of days just prior to when I accidentally lost my project. When running Time Machine, I can use Quick Look to preview my documents to see if I found the right one. I just double click in my presentation and I can glance at each slide to make sure this is the one I want. I only really need my presentation. So to restore it, I select the document and press the restore button. Time Machine returns me to my regular desktop and copies the selected files from the backup drive, just like that. That's how you can browse back in time. But if you don't know precisely where the missing document is, you can also use Spotlight. Here's how. In the Finder, search for the documents you're looking for. In this case, I'm looking for a team roster spreadsheet, but nothing found. Again, let's go back in time with the help of Time Machine. Notice how Time Machine had kept my search string. Now when I press the back arrow, Time Machine will search to find the most recent backup that contains the file I'm looking for. There it is. About two weeks ago, there was a number spreadsheet called Team Roster 2007. I'll preview it with Quick Look and restore it with a single click. So that's Time Machine in the Finder. But Time Machine is also available directly from applications like Address Book, Mail, and iPhoto. Let's open up the new iPhoto 08. I used to have a set of photos in an event called Summer Picnic, but it's missing. No problem. Let's activate Time Machine again, and now I can see the different versions of my iPhoto library going back in time. This time, I'll use the timescale to go back to last week when I last saw the collection of photos. There it is. To restore all of the pictures from this event, all I have to do is click Restore. That's Time Machine. If you ever lose a file or your whole computer, you've always got another copy to go back to. It's like having a spare for everything on your Mac.